All right, first shot of the day. I like it. There's nothing right behind him. Unfortunately, branch right in my way. So, getting a horse dance. Get myself a leg workout first thing in the morning. About where I wanted it. On to the next one. All right, today I'm at High Woods. Um, been here a few times. It's one of my favorite courses. Uh, great background story on this place. When I first got in 3D archery, everybody told me about you got to go to this club. They got a beaver by a waterfall. All right, and I was looking, and people go to this club. Went to that club. It wasn't there. No, no, it's not that club. It's this club. I went there. Took me forever, and I finally found it, and it didn't disappoint. Hopefully, the water is running. Like it was the first time I came here, we'll find out. We're sort of in a drought, but it's a great club. And this area of New York, it's around Woodstock, West Hurley, Saugerties. I have to say, probably the best 3D in the country. You got like five to six clubs in here and every one is a top-notch course, all right? So if you're ever in the area, you wanna come do one, I'm telling you, Southside, Saugerties, Highwoods, um, Thai Yogi. Don't think I, there's a couple more. I can't remember them all, but I'm telling you, this this area is a 3D mecca here in America. All right, all that talking, time to miss. Just like that. Shot over him. Hmm. Both shooting high today. Oh, first miss. Yeah, interesting. Shooting a little high. I had to put it down on his belly and I hit right where I wanted. Now I just got to remember to do that on the rest of the shots. Target 7. If there ever was a target in which you had to block out what could go wrong, this is it. Located in the depression, a little more than 20 yards away was a bear. Nothing big. But then looking at the target, you notice something. Rocks. And lots of them. Rocks to the left, to the right, under the target, and behind the target are rocks. Yep, you miss here, and you can kiss that arrow. Goodbye.
So how do you know if you're on a great course when you find this all over the place? This has been on, not this arrow, but ones just like it been spread out throughout this whole course. It means they're pushing us, making us work for it. And when you hit the shots, a lot more rewarding. Target 18. This shot is what showed me what 3D archery could be. And that's why I gave it a best shot award. Normally, a steady flow of water. But this year, with the drought, nothing more than a trickle. No time to focus on my disappointment. A miss here would cost me an arrow. Target 22, the classic campground setup. And I have to say, nobody does it better than the South Side. There's just so much detail. The pan by the fire, the lantern on the tree. There's just so much attention to detail. Target 28, last shot of the day, and it perfectly sums up Southside. Yep, no bowling alley shot here. No wide open, unobstructed target area. Uh-uh. You wanna hit that target area? Then you're gonna have to make a good shot, period. I headed back tired from the heat and the focus required on every shot. You know what? It was a good tired. I shot a course that punishes people for the lack of focus. And I smiled because I came here with eight arrows and I left with eight arrows. Southside Rod and Gun Club is a great course just waiting for you to discover its many challenges.